in certain places on the planet already, there's not enough water for everybody. Water is going to have the, the, the big impact on, on, on humanity. We are really uh, witnessing a very serious situation. 1.5 billion people are lacking safe uh, water and uh, close to 2.5 billion people are lacking even basic sanitation. It's going to hit people much more quickly than we see the effects of climate change. In the eastern part of the Mediterranean area, there will be like around 45 countries who will be suffering from uh, chronic water stress, as we call it, where water availability will be much less than uh, the recommended levels of around 500 cubic meter per capita per year. If you have a huge river or a lake, like in Porto Alegre in Brazil or in Buenos Aires or everywhere, it doesn't mean that everyone has access to water or that the water will be there forever. As humans grow and populate the, the, the world, they are polluting more and more, right? And they are making water that was available before unusable because of pollution. Even in Europe, there is still a significant proportion of the population which is not connected to a drinking water system. England is a rich country, but you have over 20% of the users of water and sanitation services not paying their water bills. This is a, a symptom of, of a big problem that I think people are not addressing here. We see so many areas of the world where water tables are falling rapidly. Um, people are not responding to this. I, I'm, I'm amazed, I'm perplexed why people cannot um, react to, um, to the disappearance of water. There are some countries that really don't have water, but in most of the cases there is water, but the quality is not safe. So it's not a matter that if you have or not water, you can have it even next to you, but it's not, if it is not safe, it's worthless. If you say the word safe water, it implies um, um, access to sanitation and this has a social dimension. Poor people are those that don't have water and they don't have water because they are poor people and we need to break uh, down this, uh, this uh, cycle. A sanitation probably is the most important problem we are facing in the world in this very moment. To provide water to, pover uh, to poor people even if they remain poor. gave the scale of you know only 17 billion pounds or something would resolve this issue for the next 10-15 uh, years um, so it's a problem that can be resolved um, if only we have the correct governance. We have the technology for instance to deliver water and sanitation since the 19th century we have and yet 40% of the world population has no access to sanitation. Water and sanitation is not just an engineering issue. Everybody should have the right to access of water, but there's no way that we can keep them free of charge. We, everybody should contribute or pay, but maybe not at the same time or, or the same amount or the same way. In Europe or the United States, uh, it was possible to universalize the access to these services because it was assumed that it were public goods and they had to be delivered by the state or at least with very strong support from the state. When you talk about economy, water you will find it in economy. When you talk about like social well-being, like water is there. When you talk about the environment and ecosystem services, you will say that water is there. So when we look at water, we cannot really ignore any certain element of those uh, elements and therefore it has to be a holistic uh, way of thinking and, and a systematic uh, way of how we can really address the water issue. The interdisciplinarity means bringing together the people who, who have the technological expertise but making them work with those in the social sciences and in other areas of activity so that we can produce an assessment of the problem and planning interventions that really take into account all the dimensions. Mm -hmm.